Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah HaKodash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, all right, which means He is or He exists. He to be, Yahweh Shai, is the name of His only begotten Son, which means He the Deliverer. <clears throat> and Rachah HaKodash is the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of Truth. Double honest of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from through the Holy Spirit, and honest to you brothers that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in all sincerity, diligence, and truth, and peace and grace and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect. So um, I got a uh, quick article here, all right, uh, coming from Zero Hedge, um, you know, touching more on uh, you know the, these um, uh, wicked rulers of the darkness of this world. There. Uh, you know, their wicked enterprise, all right, their uh, fourth industrial revolution, as they call it, all right, their NWO, all right, all of these, uh, you know, hidden hidden agendas that these, um, you know, that these devils have, where ult ultimately is them trying to um, usurp <laughs> the seat of the Most High and, um, you know, claim themselves to be God on the earth, all right, through their technology all right, through their pseudoscience, all right, uh, through their monetary systems, uh, etc. Okay, so here it says central bank digital currencies will let governments control what people spend money on. IMF, which is the International Monetary Fund, official emits. So just like how you had last week or was that two weeks ago where you had the one official from uh, one of those uh, big pharma companies, you know, can't say too much about it. But how they came out and admitted that the, uh, you know, Juicy Juice, <laughs> the Juicy Juice uh, didn't didn't do what they were uh, commercializing or advertising that it could do. So here you now you have an IMF official is saying exactly what, you know, uh, uh, we've been we've been uh, warning about. All right. Because this whole system, this blockchain system, this digital currency is all connected uh, shall I say is all going to be uh, connected to the implantable, you know, C hip. All right. Which once again, when you read the um, uh, that little document that came out earlier this year, I believe it was in February 2022, where the World Economic Forum. All right. Headed by uh, your boy, <laughs> your boy, Klaus, how he uh, they mentioned that their their uh, uh foreseeable future all right what they want is to have the ability to have a, a technology put inside people all right they call it the the IOT the internet of things or the internet of bodies right and that would be the way that you would be verified you would be identified you would be uh uh market market and marketable all right uh, being able to you know go to the agora to buy and sell, which is uh, prophecy, okay? And with that, they're going to be able to have complete control over your life, all right? So this is no, this is no um, uh, uh, marvel, all right? We're not shocked because we are watching, all right? We are, we are paying attention, man. We are seeing, you know, every move this devil uh, takes or every breath this devil takes, I'll be watching you. All right. And then that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So let's read it. It says the International Monetary Fund has said that central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, could potentially allow a government to control what people spend their hard earned cash on. All right. And it won't be cash. It'll be, you know, digital coins. It says speaking at an IMF World Bank annual meeting on October 15th. All right. Which is what? Three days ago. So this is new. Deputy Manager Director Bo Lai, uh, uh, Lee said that a CBDC could improve, quote, financial inclusion through program ability. All right. Uh, pro program ability. So there. What is that? What is that saying? All right. Financial inclusion. When they want to have everybody all pulled together, no, no, uh, um, uh, what is it called? No outlayers. All right. Nobody that's, you know, outside of this system will be able to even operate, which is goes correct, uh, directly to uh, the, the scripture of Revelation, you know, 13 to 16. All right. The, the paeo causeth all. 
It says a CBDC can allow government agencies and private sectors, players, all right, you got that, uh, that a private, uh, a public private program, right? The, the, the public private, um, uh, 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 joining together that these, you know, uh, elites of this world is shaping the world into, to becoming, all right? Which is why you have over there, especially in the, in, in Europe, you have a lot of, uh, 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 various different countries now are becoming stock, uh, stakeholders in, you know, uh, energy, uh, uh, companies. Okay. They're, they're, they're basically buying the majority ownership of certain, um, energy companies because of the quote unquote energy crisis. And now the government has the, the, the control over these companies. They're no longer private companies. They now are public companies, but also, they're public com companies that are privately ran. You see? So it says a CBDC can allow government agencies and private sector players to program to create smart contracts to allow targeted policy functions, uh, Lee explained. And that's also why you see a lot of these uh, banks, all right, these commercial banks, all right, a lot of these uh, Fortune 500 companies that are moving more and more to uh, the, the the crypto realm, all right, the, the blockchain, the digital currency realm, all right, because when when you go uh, check out these World Economic Forum meetings, you know, they're the Bilderberg meetings, the you know the Davos, all right, they're 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 not those are not just public uh, officials there. The majority of people there are actually private uh, owners or CEOs uh, of major companies, and that's why we say that. <laughs> the 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 uh the the people who are on top in this world you know they work hand in hand with the the elites that's why we call them you know uh, for lack of a better term the lower level elites because those are the those are the the, the messengers or the angels as it says in uh revelation the 12th chapter the angels of satan the messengers of satan they're doing their uh his bidding how else you think they got rich and then you got this fame and fortune? They got that from being in league with this devil, uh, going from Esau, Edom. All right. Even to, you know, these heathens that are up, you know, high up in, in Esau's kingdom. All right. So. Um, what is this? All right. So let's continue. It says, for example, welfare payments, for example, consumption coupons, for example, food stamps and. Hey, hey, man. Hey, the Lord is bringing it all out. All right. Because we have been warning that, you know, the, the, the people who go down to Egypt for help, the people who lean upon a broken reed all right, of, of, of the staff of Pharaoh of Egypt. OK, the, the ones who go get that government cheese and, you know, that the, their snap and their wick all right, their food stamps, etc. That ain't going. That's not going to be uh, free, man. All right. Esau don't give you nothing for free. It was always he have you dependent on that, and that's and they're even trying to create a uh, a UBI, a universal a universal basic income. Who's giving you that money? That's coming from the government, and we also we all know that the governments are controlled by who the central bankers, which is why ultimately they're just the central bankers are the ones that are now coming out with this um this this uh, new um, currency. You see. So your welfare, your your coupons, your food stamps, you're not going to be able to continue to get that unless you take that uh, um, that karagma. And they're letting you know right here that when you take that karagma, they're going to be able to control what you spend your money on. So it says by programming CBDCs, that money can be precisely targeted for what kind of people can uh, can own CBDC. And for what kind of use this money can be utilized, for example, for food. All right. And that goes hand in hand with their whole carbon uh, footprint, which you had um, Jamie Dimon, which is the uh, CEO of uh, JP Morgan. Um, he said that he he thinks that the, the United States should have carbon footprint. OK. So that that says what? That once again, you know, these people that are CEOs of these quote unquote private companies, they are in, in tandem. They are, are, are hand in hand with what the central banks, central bankers are doing. 
because they all work together, man. They all they all are the same pool, right? So now if they're telling you that the, the, that your money that you're going to be spending, that the money that you're going to have is going is going to be able to be programmed to a precisely target what kind of people can own it and what kind of money, uh, um, what kind of use this money can be utilized. So the kind of people that can own it, well, it's the people who are the ones who, who worship the beast, the ones who are, are their social credit scores are high. All right. They are down with the ideologies. They are down with the with the with the uh, way that Esau is ruling. All right. And then on top of that, they can control what you spend your money on. You see that? And that's just that's a straight up <laughs> and pure. I mean, we're already in hell, but that's just you giving up your you're literally you're giving up your body to this devil, man. All right. When your body is supposed to be made a living sacrifice for the Lord. But. You take that karagma, you buy, you know, you uh, um, you uh, uh, juiced into the system. You don't gave up your body to this devil for his for his use, for his uh, uh, will. It says Lee, who stepped into the role of deputy managing director at the IMF on August 23rd, 2021, added that by allowing the government to precisely target what people need, this will enable the government to improve financial inclusion. However, his comments were uh, were quick to garner a reaction from experts, including Nick Anthony, a policy analyst at the Cato Institution Institute's Centers for Monetary and Financial Alternatives. Anthony wrote on Twitter that the IMF executive comments revealed how a CBDC would allow the government to precisely control what people can and cannot spend their money on. And once again, this is this is what we have been warning about what we have been blowing a trumpet about all right and now the lord is having it to where their own uh um directors their own managing directors all right this is not some small you know uh pen pencil pusher in my imf no this is a managing one of the managing directors of the imf all right he is coming out and saying it himself all right which goes into the scripture here in the book of psalms uh 64 uh verse 7 so like your verse, um, I start at verse five. It says they they encourage themselves in an evil matter. All right. This is an evil matter. All right. Him, this devil trying to be like the most high, trying to, you know, put his his uh, 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 his his image inside of the Lord's people. All right. That is an evil matter, man. But yet, once again, you got a lot of people who. Are not or are oblivious to this, and and and, and not even you know what can even say they're oblivious to it. They're oblivious to the to the um to the evil to the evil uh, uh um what's the word I'm looking for the evil uh, um back backdrop or backstory to it because they know about CBDCs, they know about uh, the karagma, right? But they think that, oh, this is actually going to be better for humanity. This is going to be something that is going to drive, you know, uh, uh, humanity to the next to the next frontier. All right. Oh, man. Think about how easy, how convenient things are going to be, you know. But see, they don't they don't see the, 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 the evilness behind it, man, because ultimately the God of this world has blinded their eyes from the glorious gospel. All right. Of Yahweh shot. They have they have been blinded by the 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 wine of her fornication all right they're drunk so when you're drunk you're as they say your vision is impaired and your vision your spiritual vision got to be 2020 in order to endure into the end in order to be able to uh, maneuver spiritually through these through these times man but if you're drunk you're staggering you're not going to know what's what's going on you're not going to be able to tell your left from your right and that's how you get caught. And that's what this devil wants, man, because that's how a serpent strikes. A serpent strikes when you are when you are, are least attentive, when you are not paying attention. When you look at a snake, a snake will it, when a snake strikes, they, it strikes their their prey when the prey uh, takes their attention off or off. The prey doesn't see it coming. All right. So if you and that's why they tell you, um, you know, I watch, you know, certain people that are into um, uh, animals like uh, the real Tarzan or, you know, things like that. But when you watch him, 
you know, dealing with a snake, he's looking dead at the snake. He doesn't take his eye off the snake. He doesn't look away because a snake can strike very quick. But when you let that snake know that, no, my eyes are right on you. I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm paying attention to every little, every time your little tongue come out and do that little wiggle thing, I'm looking at it. All right. Then that snake is, is now it can't it can't attack you. And that's us. All right. That's why we have. That's why the Lord said to watch. All right. To watch, therefore, and pray always. If you're not watching, then you're letting that snake get the advantage. And what did the, what did um, uh, where is it at? <clears throat> what did uh, Paul say about advantage? OK. Uh, let's see. Second, second Corinthians two, verse 11, at least Satan shall get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right. So we can't be ignorant, which means to be not aware, to be not made known of his devices. And that's why you have to always be watching, always be looking. OK, so it says um, prior to joining the IMF, Lee worked for many years at the People's Bank of China, according to the IMF official website. Yeah, because <laughs> these are uh, once again, Esau is in control of this whole of this whole world job 9 and 24 so a lot of these uh devils right i mean a lot of these heathens they are 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 in in you know join hand in hand to this devil okay they want a piece of this pie a piece of the devil's pie so they become his workers they become his messengers they do his will right so reading on it says um in a follow-up post on Twitter, Anthony quoted a comment made by Neil Kashkari, president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis, writing, I can see how China is for this. I don't see how Americans would want this. And that's the thing, all right? It's not about whether the Americans want it or not, which is why you had the C the, the, the Federal Reserve um, Bank uh, earlier this year. They, they put out a questionnaire to try to gauge the citizens' minds on on what they think about CDB, CBDCs and what well, what they think would be the benefits and the pro the cons the pros and the cons and all those things because they want to see the 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 mental of these people all right they want to see how zombified people are but the thing is <laughs> the Lord got the the prophets are are on it man the prophets this word has been spread out so much that you got heathens that know about the karagma okay you got you got edomites that are are you know uh so-called truthers that are linking the uh the this whole digital system to uh revelation 13 and 16 so now that's why that's why the famine of the word is going to take place because this devil he he needs he needs people to be ignorant he needs them to be blinded he needs them to be you know dasa and this truth which has, as the scripture says, which has been so long without fruit is flourishing. And that is causing a disruption in this devil's and in, in his in his uh, uh, plans, man. And that's why they're going to come down with that great wrath. That's why they're going to outlaw, you know, censor the prophets of uh, Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Why is he going to cast some of us in prison, into prison? All right. He's going to cast us in, into prison on false accusations of, you know, uh, terrorism, extremism, uh, false, uh, you know, disinformation, which they're trying to actually make, you know, uh, uh, illegal now. OK, which is another way of just saying uh, we want to take away your freedom of speech. Right. And another way of saying that if you don't if you don't believe what we say, if you don't worship the beast, then you're going to be uh, uh, killed. And when you go into that word and killed in Revelation 13 and 15, it means to be separated. And what does prison do? Prison separates you from society. All right. So we, we clearly see the, 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 the avenue that this devil is taking, man, the path that this devil is taking. But hey, we got the victory, man. All right. The, the, us, the, the ones of us who are, you know, serving the Lord. OK. The ones of us who, who have repented, who have, uh, you know, hold fast, you know, on, on what we have. You know, hey, all these things are working together for our good. So that's what you got to always keep in your mind, man, that everything that is happening, hey, even if we get, uh, you know, demonized, even if we, you know, get thrown into, in, into, you know, prison, 
all of those things are working for our good. Hey, even you had, um, you know, just to give a, a quick, you know, comforting scripture. Because you had the, the, the apostles go through this. All right. The acts, the actions of the apostles. Let's see. Right. This is the book of Acts, chapter five, verse. Um, uh, let's see. Verse 40 it says, and to him, they agreed. All right. And to him, they agreed and they had called the apostles and beaten them. And they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai and let them go. And that's what these devils are trying to do, man. All right. They don't want us to speak in the name of Yahweh Shai because that name has a that name has a vibration. And that vibration is what is written about in Daniel's the second chapter. That's that rock that's going to break in pieces all these other kingdoms. And who kingdom are we in right now? We're in Esau's last kingdom. And he doesn't want his kingdom to be broken in pieces. So the more we speak about the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and his gospel, his ministry, his what he has come to do, the more these devils' uh, kingdom is being broken down, man. So they are going to try to, uh, you know, fear us. They want to try to threaten us. They're going to try to separate us, throw us in the prison, all these things so that we don't speak in the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says, and they departed, and this is the point, and they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Okay, that's a worthy thing to suffer shame for the name of the Lord. Remember that, man. And that's why Yahweh Shai said that he that is uh, uh, ashamed of me before men, of him shall I be ashamed of before my father and his angels, man. And that is a shame that you do not want to have because that is an everlasting shame. But suffering, being counted worthy to suffer shame in this world for the name of the Lord, hey, that's a that's that's a blessing that money can't buy, man. All right. Because that means that now that you have a great reward in heaven, because as the scripture says, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. OK, but let me go back here. I just want to, you know, put that out there, you know, for. You know, a for comfort, man, because what we're talking about is is going to it's going to get tough. It's going to get rough. It's going to get, you know, uh, from from the from a from a carnal standpoint it's going to be, you know, a little bit. Uh, it's going to be scary, so-called scary. But the Lord did not give us the spirit of fear. So if you if your spirit is settled, right, if your spirit is calm, then it don't matter what it looks like. You know what it feels like on the outward, on the outside. Those are just your emotions, man. And and that's why the Lord is is training us right now to become numb to emotional uh, things, to become numb to the physical things, man, and to walk in the spirit. For this time right now, man, the Lord is literally training us to be um, able to endure into the end, to be able to endure Jacob's trouble, to be able to endure the hour of temptation, which ultimately the Lord is going to be with us, as he says. But hey, he's given us that mindset. He's he's literally constructing our minds to be uh, uh, able to go through these things, because as the scripture says, people are going men's heart are going to fail them from fear. People are going to be unstable. They're going to be hasty. They're going to do things out of fear. But Wisdom and knowledge and understanding shall be the stability of our times. You see that? So let's um, let's keep going. Uh, so like it, let's keep going. It says Anthony also noted that governments have a historical pattern of misusing these tools, citing Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau moved to freeze the bank accounts of anti uh, CV uh, Vanessa's excuse me Vanessa uh, uh, dates protesters earlier this year all right so they showed you that hey we'll, we'll we, we can <clears throat> we can uh freeze your account if you are against our authority if you're against our agenda if you're against what the narrative that we're saying all right and that's why the scripture says that we got to be like pilgrims on earth it says a may report of the bank from the bank of international settlements the bis found that Almost 90% of the national central banks are planning to launch their own CBDC for release to the general public. So you got 90% of all national central banks in the world are, are about ready to release 
their own CBDC to the general public. And that's no coincidence, man, that they're all doing this, doing this simultaneously. Because once again, paeo, okay, forming, fashioning, constructing what? The society, the world, causing all. So that includes the United States where Washington is currently looking into the possibilities for issuing such a digital currency with official citing an array of alleged benefits such as efficient and low cost transactions, boosting economic growth and improved access to financial systems. And that's why they are bringing down this system right now. That's why there's such economic uh, turmoil right now so that they can come out and say, See, well, this is this is this is the 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 cure to everything. This is the cure to all of the problems. If we we bring this out, then this will uh, uh, fix the the economy, all right? Because as I said before, that he doesn't see Americans uh, would want this, but they're going to make Americans feel like this is the option. This is the best solution, all right? And the way they do that is by causing all of this hell and chaos in the world or in economy right now. Problem, reaction, solution. Okay, so um, it says, however, critics fear CBDCs will increase government control over money. <laughs> what? That's, that's it right there, man. Once again, that's the prophecy. Government control, who controls the governments, right? It says, um, Government control over money that could be used as a tool for, for financial discrimination. If he that if he don't uh, he that uh, um <clears throat> doesn't take the karagma won't be able to buy and sell. That's 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 financial discrimination because I don't take this uh, uh uh thing in my body. I can't operate in the system financial. And if I you know I can't buy and sell, I should say in the system. Now if I can't buy and sell in the system, then I can't live. You know, just like how they did with the sticky stab. They said, well, you don't got to take the sticky stab. But if you don't take it, then you can't go here. You can't do this. You can't do that. So it's like they're not they're telling you, well, it's your choice not to take it. But if you don't want to take it, then this is this is the life or this is the the, the non life you're going to have. OK, attacking people's uh, livelihoods. Um, while simultaneously tracking purchases. And restricting access to funds, thereby working against decentralization, which is one of the main advantages of adopting cryptocurrencies, which decentralized uh, currencies was always just a uh, the ploy to get people into the blockchain, to get this thing operating. All right. That's the hidden hand. That's how these devils work. The the uh, the smoke and mirrors. They, they put out the, the, the digital currencies, these these. Um, these decentralized currencies and get people thinking, oh, this is a, a new wave. But then they're going to regulate. They're going to limit. They're going to do all these things to take de decentralized currencies off of the platform and now say, well, you know what? We're just going to use this platform for centralized currencies, which was always their agenda anyway. Um, August Karsten, general manager of the BIS, noted in 2021 that central banks would have Absolute control over the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that expression of central bank liability. And then we'll also have the technology to enforce that. And, and what is that technology? That that uh, digital that digital currency, man. All right. That uh, Karagma. They're, they're going to have because that's all computerized and computers are, are controlled by people. All right. Federal Reserve Bank of uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell last month also stated that the CBDC would not be anonymous and would be identity verified, meaning details regarding transactions of a CBDC would be public. They're going to know what you I know when you are sleeping. I know when you are awake. I know when you've been bad or good for so be good for goodness sake. OK, that's that. That's that uh, Santa Saint Satan. That's what he's doing, man. You want to come up in your house, eat your milk and cookies, and and if you don't and if you and if you don't give him his milk and cookies, he gonna give you coal. All right, he gonna he gonna be uh uh, uh he gonna be coming down on you. So you gotta worship him, cause that's what that whole Santa Claus is all all is about, right? But you gotta worship him if you and if you're not, then then your your uh stockings ain't gonna be stocked. But this is ultimately, you know, I'm just using that uh, being funny. Um, but this is ultimately why 
we have to have the mind of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. We got to uh, put there on as the elect because only the elect are going to be able to endure this. Because uh, as you see, this devil, man, he's coming. He's squeezing pressure from above, pressure from above. And, and the majority of these people, they can't handle that pressure, man. All right. These especially our people, they're going to fold like a lawn chair. All right. But that's why the Lord got his elect. Because for the remnant's sake, the ones who have not, who, who no longer stays on the hand of them that oppress them, man, but it stays on the Holy One of Israel, Yasharali, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Right? So it says the European Central Bank reiterated Powell's uh, remarks at the same Banquet de France, which is Bank of France event on September 27th, with ECB President Christine Lagarde stating, there would not be complete anonymity as there is with banknotes. Okay, so they're going to know you. All right, they want they want to be omnipresent, omnipotent, and you be their slave. Uh, what is that? Revelation? Not uh, Revelation. Uh, Second Thessalonian. All right, let's let's get that. Second Thessalonian. Two. Second Thessalonian chapter two verse. Uh, four says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the most high, right? Or that is worshiped or that <clears throat> uh, says so that he as power sitteth in the temple of power, showing himself that he is God. So that's what these devils, that's what all this is about, man. They want to be the most high. All right. But the most high going to show them that, as it says in Isaiah, the 31st chapter, that they are not God. All right. They are man and not spirit. They are flesh and not spirit. OK. And that's the day. And that's what we are continuously harping on. All right. So, you know, I'll end it there. Well, let me see. Actually, I got one more. and I'll close it out with this. Uh, Psalms 32, 35, verse six. It says, let their way be dark and slippery. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them for without cause. They have hid for me their net in a pit. With which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself into that very destruction, let him fall. And that's what exactly is going to happen, man. This devil's doing all this just for him to be destroyed and go into captivity. Okay, so you know, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.